of the arm, Michel uh, Jarreau. Uh, Michel, thank you very much for joining us here. How exactly, it, thank you, how exactly is this conference going to change the way we can predict uh, natural disasters? Well, th this conference, the main goal is to bring together the people who are providing the information, the scientists, the representative of the med service, and also the decision makers at all levels. So the idea is for the providers of information to better understand what decision makers need, but at the same time for decision makers to better understand what can be, what can be done. So we aim to bridge this gap between the information and decision making. You may know that in many cases there is information, but this information is not used optimally or sometimes not used at all in decision making. So we aim at addressing this, uh, this gap. Now, uh, global frameworks aren't known to be very cheap. How much is all this going to cost and when is it going to be imp implemented? So I, th I think before I answer that question, I would like maybe to clarify what the global framework will be. The global framework will have many pillars. One of them will be to strengthen the observation. Another pillar will be to to put more effort in research. There's a number of issues that we still need to understand a little, bit, uh, a little bit better. And we need also to provide information at a scale which can be used nationally, locally for decision making. So to do that, we need to put in place partnership. We need to put in place regional centers to have a partnership with various socio-economic sectors. You probably know that almost all socio-economic sectors are affected by climate, health, transport, energy, uh, almost everything you can think of, agriculture and therefore food security. So to give you an example, for example, in Africa, for the farmers, it will be important to give them better information with respect to the next rainy season. Uh, when will it start? How long will it be? Will it be more or less intense than, than usual? We have some elements right now, but we want to institutionalize these elements and to make them, uh, to make them better and to make sure that farmers and all those who need to add them can trust that it will be indeed available. So, in Michelle, terms of I cost, can, to come back to... If I can just brief, briefly, before we go on to costs, more importantly, how will this really be available to poorer parts of the world? Yeah, so as, as, as you know, uh, poor countries, their infrastructure is not as developed as in uh, European country, North America. So in practice, what we want to do is to put in place regional centers so that they can put together their resources to have partnership with centers in developed countries to make sure that uh, they can get access to the same information as developed countries. So we want to strengthen their technical infrastructure through technical cooperation activities. We want to strengthen the human uh, resource, uh, the human resources Michel through training, Gero, through Michel capacity Gero, building. I'm afraid we have run out of time. Thank you.